everyone welcome tonight it's Sunday night sorry I'm a little bit later tonight I did a little bit of prep work before we got on tonight so um, tonight we are going to take this lovely palette um, that a lovely friend of mine made for me and we are going to weather it similar to what we've done here I've done the back of it so we're one step ahead, but I'm going to um, paint the front of it um, just to speed things along. I'm only going to do the one side. And then we're going to do a cute um, birdhouse design um, with some birds and uh, nice spring, nice spring feathered friends um, finished project. Alright, so I'm going to get started. So. I have my palette here. I have it um, nicely stained. And before I start painting, the trick to getting a nice weather technique, and I'll um, demonstrate this to you, is putting a little on some of the areas that you want your paint to lift from. So I like doing the corner areas. Maybe a little bit where you think that it might have been handled up the sides. Along the edges. You don't need too much, you just need to have enough of a layer that you're not going to um, have paint really stick to the wood. It's gonna be able to be lifted off after. side and get this corner and then we'll get it painted up. This is kind of fun. This is one of my favorite um, techniques to to weather a, a piece. Alright. Get a little bit along the top here. I want some paint there. Okay. So let's let's go with that and see how that turns out. What's fun about this is every time you do this technique, it's going to turn out a little bit different. And uh, that's kind of fun to see what you end up with. So we have some lovely, my favorite color. This is Intrigue. Um, my Aspire. I guess I'm not a good uh, champion for it when I cover it up. So I'm also, I want a weathered paint technique, so I'm not doing a nice, even, um, smooth coat to it. I want it to be look, look weathered, look like it's been through a lifetime of uh, fun. So if you're joining us, send me a little message. Let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know, love to chat. I think it's kind of fun to get on here and chat with everyone while everyone's locked inside and, and looking for things to do. There's only so much uh, TV you can watch and Netflix series and I don't know about you, but I'm getting the what are we calling it? The COVID-15. So a little too much sitting watching TV or doing uh, stationary things. Okay. Let me just get... All right. So that's pretty good there. I'm going to hand this off to my helper over here. Can you set that? Hmm? Oh, great. Can you try again? We're just trying to share it to get a few more uh, friends watching. If you can help us out and uh, and share it, that's fine. No, it's not. All right. I think you have to do a watch party. 
So share a group or watch party. Go to that and watch party. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay. So let me dry this up. We're having a little bit of trouble sharing tonight. It's kind of nice to be able to get people on to uh, to watch and get conversations going. This is chalk paint that I'm working with, so and it's a chalk furniture paint, not um, chalk couture paste. And it dries up pretty quickly. And once it's dried, then you'll be able to see how we're going to get our weathered look. And you can almost see if we're getting light spots here. It's really starting to dry up quickly. Normally I just set this aside and let it dry in its own, but for the sake of uh, TV or internet, we're going to speed it along. If you have any questions at all about what we're doing, feel free to uh, give me a comment or chit chat and I'll answer all the questions I can. almost dry. I've already done the backs and the sides before I got on tonight, so then that will speed things along a little bit. Almost there. Now you can see as I'm drying, the darker areas are where I put the Vaseline on before I started the paint. And that's going to give uh, me the tip paint effect. A little bit of thicker paint here. I'm not going to get any on me tonight. Okay. I think we'll leave it at that. Now, actually maybe I'll use this one here. Pressure cloth. So, if you watch as I rub this now, I'm going to start lifting that paint off in those areas. And you can um, lift it as much as you want once you hit your desired effect. Just stop there. This is one of my uh, favorite methods. And then after I will take a sandpaper and stress it a little bit more. Am I jiggling you guys up there? See how easy that comes off? It just lifts right up. sides because that's where your piece if it were being used over time is going to see the most wear. All right. I'm just going to I've got a little bit of water over here. I'm just going to dip that in and just kind of clean these areas up a little bit. Are you able to share? sandpaper. Just 
these things out. I hope I'm not jiggling you too much here. This chalk paint um, dries pretty nicely. It doesn't generally, um, if you give a good first coat, you don't often need too much of a second coat with it when painting um, a solid um, paint surface, like you want a solid look to it. And it gives, uh, it doesn't need too, too much of a sanding to get that nice smooth, smooth effect. I absolutely love it. going on over here and when we wax it it's going to um, come out beautifully I'm gonna just dampen my cloth again this part's a little bit wet over here still I think that's the wrong cloth that has Vaseline on it and I'm just gonna take some of this dust remove that from the surface here I love the effect when you put the wax on because then everything darkens up and you really get the finished weathered look. Whether that's Vaseline or paint I'm getting on my finger every time I touch that area. All right. I'm just gonna do little sanding on the ends. All right. Okay, so let's put some wax onto this. You can see how quickly this um, technique kind of moves along. You can get it painted up, get it uh, distressed and waxed pretty quickly. So how is everyone surviving COVID-19? Everyone's shut away and, and isolating. Looks like we'll have some nice weather, so at least on uh, upside we can get out into the gardens and and do some of our spring clean up as soon as it dries up a little bit out there. We have a little bit of rain in the forecast coming up, but other than that, there we go. So that's kind of buffing up nicely, nice and smooth now, nice finish to it. transfers here. So the transfers we're using tonight are from our Feathered Friends uh, collection and I really, really like them. They're a nice, uh, a nice design. Be shut down tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, Heather. Like completely shut down. I think we're close to that here in Ontario, but uh, there's still some places open. We're not able to, like restaurants are closed, a lot of the big um, stores are closed. Malls are still open at this point, but I don't think there's too, too many people going to the malls. But yeah, it's pretty serious. People need to lock themselves away and and survive. All right, so here's our board. So we started with a dark um, stained board and um, put a little bit of Vaseline into the areas to try and uh, protect the paint from um, settling into those areas and we were able to get the chipped paint effect, painted it up, um, removed the paint from these areas, sanded it, and then just did a wax coat. And we're ready to chalk. How about 
what we get rid of this board. <coughs> Alrighty. So, if um, you weren't with us a little bit earlier, I'll show you the projects that we're doing tonight. So I'm actually going to use three transfers to um, combine it. Curb pickup only and malls are open to walk. Wow, till April 1st. Hmm, that's another, that's about another week. Well, that's what they have to do, eh, to keep people indoors, because not everybody's staying indoors. Um, so we're gonna be doing the birdhouse. It's a two transfer um, design. I'm thinking the birdhouse is gonna sit down here. I have Bless Our Nest. I will put up at the top here. Can everyone see? Okay. I'm not too, you can see the top of the board. Maybe I need to dip you down a little bit, just so you can see a little bit better. There. Oop. With me. And then we have some lovely embellishments, some branches and, and little sprigs that we'll add to it. And I'm thinking that I'm going to use this transfer with the branch and the birds. And I might bring a branch in from the side and place a bird on it. So let's start with our birdhouse. Oh, thank you. Isn't this a beautiful color? I love, I love the teal blue colors. They're my favorite. My helper's getting frustrated with trying to I'll try and get my comments up here so I can see them over here. There we go. So if we want to get a watch party going, to, if you guys want to share it out to other groups or to friends, anybody who might enjoy this, we can get a group watching us and we can forget about that outside world. We can just, you know, hibernate. Hibernate in chalk. I like that. All right. So I think that's pretty straight. Oop. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. This transfer has an adhesive backing. I should show you, this is a good one to show you if you're just tuning in, that all the transfers are a silk screen. They're not just an open like a stencil. They're a silk screen design. And that with their thicker chalk paste give you a really, really great um, finished product. So wherever you see the green is where I have the adhesive. They're a sticky back, they're reusable and so I just have to be a little bit smarter and stop uh, grabbing it on my screening. There we go. I think we're all good. So the only thing you can have troubles with here is if um, you have a bubble under the edge of it or a little fleck of something that like I just took off and you allow an opening for the paste then to bleed underneath. But other than that, with the nice uh, sticky background um, it sticks very well and uh, make it a really good effect so i think i'm going to do my birdhouse in white i'm going to get you guys to weigh in on my flowers that i want to add later and you can let me know which colors you think my flowers should be i'll add a little bit of water to that so we want our paste to be the consistency of sour cream or um, like a regular yogurt and somebody asked me once well you say yogurt but is it Greek yogurt or regular yogurt it's regular yogurt or a not so thick Greek yogurt so you can see that and how thick that is there that's perfect so I'm just gonna dab some on for me here. I'm going to use our small squeegee. It's a little bit larger. I do use, you'll see me use the mini squeegee quite a lot, but I, um, for this I'm covering a big area. I'm going to use my large squeegee and just push the paste through the screening. So 
So who's working from home? Hey, Myrna, how are you? Who's working from home now? Is uh, people trying to turn their dining room or spare bedroom into an office? That's not always an easy thing to do. My husband's working from home. Our, our dining room is now a uh, nice office setting, which is okay. It's kind of nice to have them home, have them around. Although last week things were so busy with everything changing, I think I saw him less working from our dining room than I did when he actually went into the office. But hopefully things will settle down a little bit and he will be um, not quite as swamped now that all the everything's in place. Hopefully anyway. All right. So we lift that up and there's the start of a birdhouse. I'm just going to put my transfers over into my water bath over here. So that's the first layer of the birdhouse. And we'll move on to, I'm just going to close this up for now. We'll move on to the second layer. Because I'm going to use the second layer pretty fast, pretty soon after, I'm just going to dry this one. It won't take but a second. You want to dry your first layer because if it's not See, that's good. If it's not completely dry, when I put my second layer on, and again, wherever you see the um, green, that's my adhesive backing, I don't want it to lift um, my paint from my first layer. So I'm actually going to fuzz my second layer. And by fuzzing it, I'm just going to add a little bit of lint, um, just so it doesn't stick quite as firmly. This is my ever-loved fuzzing cloth. It's starting to look a little, little tattered. Lots of use. If anybody is new to Chalk Couture and has any questions, just shoot me a comment at any point and I'll answer all your questions for you. Just want to get this lined up. That looks pretty good. I will take it. Again, smooth it out just so I don't have any bumps. I don't want to press too, too firmly because I don't want to, again, lift that lower layer. Does anybody have anything coming up in their gardens yet? We'll change the subject from our, our current state of affairs and COVID-19. Let's talk about some fun stuff, some spring stuff. Mine don't look very good yet, but I have seen a couple of robins, so the spring weather is just around the corner. I'm going to use storm gray onto my roof and my other areas here. This gives a nice, a nice contrast color. Yeah, we've got to get out in the backyard soon. We have a couple of golden retrievers that do quite a job on our, on our backyard, as you can imagine. There's quite a spring cleanup, so. We're always kind of glad to get out there as early as we can and get that cleaned up. Does anybody else have that problem? It would probably be easier if we kept up with it over the winter, but we don't. We deal with it in the spring. Our grass is always good and green. I guess that's an upside. We just have our little doggy manure, I guess, out there. So we almost have the 
this completed here. It doesn't take too long to make a cute piece of home decor at all. I was talking with someone today that uh, was an avid Cricut user, as I was, and once you use this product line, um, it's hard to go back to using the Cricut because there's so many more steps to it. And this just is so much easier. Cricut does have a, um, a place in time because you can certainly make your own designs and do whatever you want. But, uh, but I kind of like the simplicity of this. And as you'll see tonight, I'm combining the three transfers. So that's actually kind of just gives me the design that I'm looking for. All right. You have a big dog too, so you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you, Heather? Okay, so bless our nest, I'm going to put here at the top. I was thinking of using Storm Grey. Maybe, maybe I should do it in white, it might pop a little better. I think I'm going to use the white. Lots and lots of colors to choose from. He'll be able to help me out in a little while and and help me pick out my colors for the flowers. I've got a few different pinks and I can't decide which one I like better. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. quiet group tonight. You guys gotta start talking to me. I've been locked away for two weeks now. I need some conversation. Well, I guess I should say we went to Walmart today. We needed to stock up on a couple of things. And, uh, well, a couple of things turned into a big grocery order. But, it was, wasn't as busy there, but people did not uh, did not exercise the social distancing like in the lineup to uh, check out. We had somebody right on our tail, and but it was, certainly wasn't as busy as it normally is by any means. And everybody uh, seemed to be wanting to get what they needed and get out. Yeah. Well, I guess we have our chalk couture and our social aspect this way. So I will be coming on um, each night and we'll do a project together and we'll just shut out the outside world and we'll hang out together. And it's a nice distraction, isn't it? From the crazy outside world. All right, so let me pull out this one. So we have our birdhouse, we have Bless our nest at the top. I'm going to add um, the branch and a bird from Gather, our other transfer in this series, and we'll add that in. So we're working with three transfers tonight from our Feathered Friends series. And I don't, well, you can't see it as well. This is actually a cut apart part transfer. The lines aren't quite as prominent as they normally are. And I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm gonna make my own lines here. Makes it a little bit easier to use when, when they're not all together. one of my little dishes here and I'm going to use my storm gray I'm do a little bit of a mixture 
I like the storm gray, but I want a bit of a brown tint to it. So I am going to use just a ever so slight amount of our bark, the brown bark. I don't want, I think the brown will be too bold. Um, I want this to be a little more subdued. So let's see how we can do it. So I have added ever so little amount here. If anybody is sitting at home and they are um, looking for things to do, I do have bundles that I've put together. I have them on my VIP page um, and they're over there, not on this main page because that's where I can um, put pricing in. So I do have them over there and the link is right on this page on Simply Creative Chalking page. I'm going to add a little more brown to that. And as soon as I hop off here, if you um, click the link that's on this page and request to join that group, then I will certainly approve you as soon as I get off here. And I've got the bundles there and you're not just limited to what is in um, each of those bundles um, shown there. You can swap out any transfer you want at all. If another transfer appeals to you a little more, then by all means, definitely just let me know. I also have a video um, of a live I did on Friday night and that also, I've gone through all my transfers and it shows you everything I have in stock. So definitely let me know if you want, if you want any of those. It's a great way to pass the time. I love it. I could spend hours once you get chalking you dear, you could chalk for hours. All right, so I've got my paste mixed up, a little bit of a brown tinge to it. I'm just gonna bring my branch in from the side here. And again, I've waxed my board, so I've got a nice surface there, and my, actually maybe I will fuzz this just to be on the safe side. I think that's pretty dry. I don't want to pick up any of my paint on the adhesive back of my transfer and cause any issues there. So maybe I'll come in that way. I've got a little bump there somewhere. See, I have picked up a little bit of the paint on that, but that's not too bad. That will come off. All right, there we go. That's better. And my slightly tinged gray, storm gray, with a little bit of bark added to it. Oh, that's pretty good. Just enough to give me a little bit of color, a little bit of a brown tinge. Guys, talk to me. The poor isolated lady. Let me know what you're doing to cope with everything that's going on. There we go. We got our branch added. I'm just putting all my transfers over here into the water, and I'll clean them up when we're done here. Okay, let me give that a dry because I'm going to put my bird onto that. Put on all my transfers over here to blow away, putting off to the side. Those of you who aren't familiar with Chalk Couture, 
um, the paste dries hard very quickly and once it's dry it's not smudgeable at all and so you can have it um, on a surface and have no issues with it at all as long as it's not beating down rain on it if you had it on your front porch or um, anything like that it won't it won't smudge at all I have another project that maybe we might do after and I'll just show you the I'm going to remove this this is the Irish blessing and just to show you once it's dry it's not going anywhere I'm not smudging it a spritz of water um, and I can either wipe it off or I can use um, the scraper and I'll do this after I'll show you how it um, how it turns out it comes off beautifully and your surface is ready to chalk again so it is super duper that is actually what I love about chalk couture and what drew me into it was the ability to um, re-chalk on solid surfaces you can also chalk onto um, with ink onto fabrics t-shirts pillow covers um, ceramics anything that can be heat set with either an iron a medium set iron or put into the oven for 30 minutes at 350 it can be heat set and become permanent with the ink and you still use all the same transfers so we're going to put our bird on i think they're both the same actually i kind of like this one they're a little bit different this one's this one's calling to me so i think i'm going to put my bird right here bird is going to be we're going to keep colors scheme very simple for this so I actually have several pieces um, of rechalkable surfaces in my home and with each season um, each month each holiday I just uh, bring them back out to my shop here and I change up my design and I've got something completely new and fresh. I love it. And that is my favorite part about it all is being able to remove a design and uh, redesign. All right, we're coming right along here. What do you think? It's getting there. Getting there, getting there. Okay, so here's where I keep my weight. I'm going to get some help from you folks. So we have some other embellishments here. We have some little sprigs, different styles. They're all, um, I think they're just pointing different directions. They look very much the same. And I'm going to bring those in from the side. I might actually add some to this, but I have some flowers. Maybe I'll put some flowers on this branch coming in as well, too. That might be kind of pretty. I've got several spots. So, we have a couple of different flower designs. If you can help me out, decide what color we should do them with. So I have Couture Teal, or sorry, Couture Coral. I love this color. I have, this is Raspberry Sorbet, that's a nice bright pink, very springy. And then I have my Peony, a nice soft pink color. So which one do you think? I think I'll do a couple of these flowers, or I can do them in white as well. But I think with the white bird in the white house, maybe a little bit of color, a little pop of color might be nice. Which colors do you think? I don't know if I have a leg here. Send me some comments, let me know. If not, I'll just have to decide all by myself. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of these here too. I'm gonna put those up there. Any comments? I think there's some problems with Facebook right now that all the comments don't come through. I'll see if I can look over here. Not all the comments um, pop through. Comments off, comments on. P 
zucchini, you think? I do have pink grapefruit. Where is that? That would be pretty as well, too. And another option we can go with is marvelous as well. So there's pink grapefruit. And then I have marvelous. That has a little bit of a, a purpley hue to it as well. That one, that one looks a little odd because it got frozen on my shipment, but it works just fine. Peony, pink grapefruit. You think we'll stick with this? We should stick with the soft colors. I agree. So what if we did a series of? If we did, those two are similar. You know what? I think we'll go with peony. I'm lying to you, pink grapefruit. I like your suggestion. How about we do that? You're not familiar with Mar Marvelous? That's one of the newer colors. That one is uh, its pretty popular. I think that one sold out fairly quickly when it was released recently. But it's a very pretty color. It's a very soft, mauvey pink color. All right. So... I will get transfers ready to go here. One down here, I think. I don't normally put flowers on this branch, but let's see what it looks like. Got to take a walk on the wild side once in a while, eh? And if I work quickly, I'll be able to move my transfer from one to the other, or to another spot. I'll be able to move it along before the paste dries in the screening. Pretty. One of the bigger guys up here. Maybe I'll put this one up here, and then I'll move that other one out of the way. get too too many going here. That's not bad. Let's get this guy moved before he dries in the spot there. Maybe I'll put one over here by the bird. one of these down at the end. Where'd my lid go? Here it is. But I have to dry the other flowers before I can lay the straps on top of it. Nice color choice, Heather. I like it. Everybody see it there all right? Less is more. I think I might stop at that. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. We'll put those in our water bath. All right. What do you 
think? We need something more, do you think? We need something down in this area. I was thinking of putting a couple of these branches in. I'm going to put one coming in from the top there. Maybe I should put another one of these branches. I might have to clean it up, but what do you think? We could put another one of those just kind of coming up at a different angle. I'm going to clean, one of, clean that up quick. It won't take but a second. And you get to see how I clean a transfer. If you're just joining us, you're not familiar with it. So my transfer's been sitting in a water bath. I'm just going to take it out. And this is just a board eraser. It's uh, just a sponge. It's like a ma um, magic eraser. Clean one side, clean the other side. And you can see where I picked up that paint and what have you has come right off. And then I'm just going to take one of my paper towels. This is actually a non linting paper towel, so they're perfect. that up. And you'll be able to see that this is just basically almost ready to go. The sticky's almost right back. All right. And I think after I'm off, I'm going to put a little bit of sphagnum moss here at these uh, windows. Look like the bird's nest is coming out. See your comment over here, Heather. Going on top of uh, the white. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. That might be a good idea. Or maybe I should do it over in black. It'd be, it'd be awfully bold, though. I did it in... I think it's, uh, I did it in gray on another one with a similar background and I had more blue though and I thought since this is more weathered it wouldn't show up as much but yeah maybe I can relay that and do that as well. Oh now I messed up my branch color I threw in my water. I gotta, gotta create more work for myself here. Mix my colors up again. Don't need too much. on that. Mix in those colors again. Some more paint. I will clean this one. What do you think? Coming along pretty good? You think black would be too harsh? That was my thought initially. Yeah, maybe I can try the storm over top of it. Maybe just do our nest. Yeah, it's very fine lettering, so it doesn't take much for it to kind of fade away 
into some surfaces, eh? Okay. Those are drying up pretty quickly. Paste away. Yeah, that extra branch, I think, right here um, will be enough to to um, take up the space, I think. this one up a little bit. Change the flower border. All right. So if you're just catching us now, I weathered the board, um, painted it, and um, put, distressed it um, at the beginning of this video. If you missed that, the video will be available for replay um, right after we're done here. So you can certainly catch that and not too bad. I didn't put those in the water quite yet. What do you think? Okay. Where is our bless our nest? We'll wash that one up and we'll see if we can relay it and make it a little bit darker. So as you can see, you do have options. You're not committed to your finished product, especially if you're working on a rechalkable board, because um, rechalkable boards you can just erase it and and redo your design. And I'll show you that uh, shortly. I'll do a quick uh, a quick project on a rechalkable board, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. Going in. Let's see if I can line this up and dark. Just darken that uh, that one area. I have to stand up to do this. Look down from the top. I'm not far off by any means. So should I do the whole thing in gray or just the our nest in gray? Let's start with our nest and see what we end up with. like. Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. I might do, I might do the top as well. And I'm just ever so slightly 
off um, and it has a bit of a white shadowing to it. I guess white isn't a shadow, but a white border. Okay, the reveal. That might be too dark now. What do you think? It's not too, too bad. It's there. You see it. But it's not jumping out at you. And like I said, I'll add a little bit of uh, sphagnum moss to these areas. And I think that will... Uh, I think I'll leave it at that. I think I'm going to leave it simple. And call it a day with those. All right. Everything into the water over here. I have a little bit of have some dishes to do after, I think. So, Heather, you have to tell me, are you having troubles with Facebook these days and sharing your videos? I find that I am having some trouble with um, the share and even with watch party and that it's still it's still a little bit of an issue. Alright. I will set this down here for now. I was gonna set up there, but there's no good spot. And we'll move on to the next one. So just so everyone can see, since this is St. Patrick's Day, we're going to take off the Irish Blessing and we're going to change it over to um, this lovely one. This one's actually very popular. This is another uh, quote. Those we love don't go away, they walk beside us every day, unseen and heard but always near, still loved, still missed, and very dear. Very cute. So to remove this one, like I showed you earlier, well, I'll wet it now, but that is, that's not going anywhere. Well, even to sprinkle, you can't get into the um, different, you have no groups, like you can't share or you can't sprinkle it, you can't do anything with it, really. All right, so all I did was spritz it with a little bit of water. This is um, our brand new board scraper. This is phenomenal. This just takes, look at that, take all your paste right off. Off the chalk. And I'm going to go in with my board eraser now and just clean it all up. And it's ready to go momentarily. corner here. Goes out. There. That is ready to go again. Yeah, this transfer is so popular. Well, it, it again sold out um, as soon as it was released, it appears. Actually, I'm going to need to fuzz this one because it's pretty sticky. So now that I'm working on a solid surface, 
um, our transfers do stick pretty, pretty solidly. So I'm just going to pick up a little fuzz, a little bit of lint, and that will ease that issue a little bit. And then when I lift it off after, I won't risk stretching my transfer. Pretty good. A oh, little bump there. Picked up something more than I wanted. There it is. So that's a pretty solid piece of fuzz that I got there. Left a big bump. As long as you're, you don't have an air bubble or a bump right next to your open silk screen areas, you shouldn't have an issue with any bleeding. A little bump there, but I don't think it's an issue. Okay, how about we do ombre on this one? I'm going to ombre it, I think with just the gray. The storm gray. Yeah. I'm keeping things pretty simple tonight, aren't I? Alright. So we'll use some gray at the bottom. from the top. And I want to put enough on that I have a little bit of a ridge to be able to blend my two colors and I'll blend them in the center here. any extra um, bridges that I'm creating up above here that are going to show through my silk screening. I'll take those away. I might need a little more gray. I'm going to pull my gray up from the bottom. off my excess and actually I ran off my my transfer a little bit there so I'll have a little cleanup to do. Don't watch what I'm doing putting my gray into my white. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of a ridge up here. And I'm just gonna start and I'm going to pull some gray up and some white down, some gray up, some white down. Let's start blending our two colors here. We'll try and get a nice soft line of gray coming from our white. Bring mix them all together now. Take my excess off. Make sure I don't have any gray on that. I don't want to pull gray into it.
little area here where I ran off my transfer. And that's easy. We'll just fix that up. Hey, Cindy, how are ya? gray and so we have some nice birds to fly above I'm gonna dry this a little bit and we'll put those on and this I'm gonna keep this in this transfer also very simple Cindy. Oh, thank you. We're hanging out on a Sunday night. I'm going to keep my birds limited. I did have another one where I put lots and lots of birds. Maybe I'll put a couple down the side, but I think other than that, Keep them kind of limited tonight. So did you get your house all cleaned? And get some chalking done? I think that was on your agenda. You can't go to bed uh, early on a Sunday night? Well, you kind of you kind of get turned around. Eh? You get ready... Uh, you get into your weekend mode where you don't have to go to bed early. By, I don't know, by Wednesday nights I was always pretty white. And uh, I was certainly looking for my bed on Wednesday nights uh, as I was working full time. Sometimes Monday nights too. Okay. So I'm going to take these guys. These guys, maybe I'll put the two smaller ones right here, and that will be all. Can't help but sometimes think of these, they kind of look like seagulls to me. Where are the fries? They're always after your fries. mark here and we'll call that a day. That's not too bad. So that's our one project. Close this up. I got lots of dishes to do tonight with. I need an assistant. I'd love to have somebody follow me around and clean up after me. That would be super. Alright, and I'll show you the other project we did a little bit earlier. It was kind of fun. We changed it up a little bit, didn't we, Heather? Alright, so here's the one we just completed. This is on um, the gray chalkable board. And this one we did, a weathered, uh, a weathered pallet board, um, we did the birdhouse. Our feathered friends collection. So we've actually used the three transfers here, um, bless our nest, and we used the birdhouse, and then we used the um, gather transfer.
You head to bed, Heather. We'll talk to you soon. So, we're good. We have done our Bless Our Nest in white, and then we had a bit of a, a meeting of the minds and decided we'd try it in gray, so we did it over in gray. So we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's showing up enough, but we have a little bit of a uh, border to it with the white. And that's it for tonight. Thanks, Cindy. I love those transfers. Those ones are so easy to work with and come up with uh, some new designs on. Love them, love them. Well, that's it. I will be back tomorrow night and uh, I'm usually on around 8 o'clock and if somebody wants to uh, or if everybody wants to come and hang out with me, we'll chalk and we'll forget about the outside world. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.